Indian Company Law regulates the corporations formed under the Section 2 Indian Companies Act 2013. Company means a company incorporated under this Act or under any previous company law. History Corporate affairs in India are regulated through the Companies Act, 1956, Companies Act 2013 and related laws and regulations, which are administered by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs .On the other hand, the MCA has also recently given the way to a new Act called Companies Second Amendment Act 2017 with effect from 26 January 2018. The said Amendment Act covered 93 sections which in entirety shall give effect to changes in 107 sections of the Companies Act 2013 Principal Act. The Ministry works through the two branches Regional Director Road and Registrar of Companies Rock. At present, the nation has seven such directors and 22 ROCs. Companies Second Amendment Act 2017 The MCA in India has given way to a new Act with effect from 26 January 2018. It includes 93 sections and out of that 90 approximately sections has been notified by the Ministry through 11 notifications including the latest issued on 19 September 2018. The new Act has given rise to the number of new concepts and also have made the Principal Act simplified and comprehensive. However, the amendment in the Principal Act is still under process. In the recent amendment, the MCA has also notified changes in Section 134 of the Principal Act to get mandatory sign the financial statements from the CEO of the company, if any. The Companies Amendment Ordinance 2018 The Ministry of Corporate Affairs has recently been constituted a committee on 13 July 2018 to review the offences under the Indian Companies Act 2013 Principal Act", with a specific terms of reference. The said committee also tasked with the responsibility to declogging the corporate judiciary system in India. The said committee has recommended some amendments to be implemented immediately. Such recommendations included enlarging the jurisdictions of the two branches of the ministry i.e., registrar of companies and regional directors called, in-house adjudications mechanism, shifting of the approvals from tribunals to in-house adjudication mechanism, to also re-categorize the acts punishable to be compoundable to the acts merely resolved through civil liabilities etc. The said committee has also recommended 33 provisions of the Principal Act to be implemented immediately. The said committee has been directed to make its report public within 30 days of its meeting and has furnished the report on 14 August 2018. The Ministry has also felt the needs to make it happen such recommendations effective at the earliest. In India, the amendment to be placed before the Houses of the Parliament into session to make it a part of the law. However, the Parliament not into session and such amendments become an act of urgency get its ways through an ordinance. Company rule in India Societies Registration Act 1860 The Indian Partnership Act, 1932 The Companies Amendment Act, 2006 the Limited Liability Partnership Act, 2008 Companies Second Amendment Act 2017 Companies Amendment Ordinance 2018 Incorporation Companies can be incorporated through the rules of the Indian Companies Act 2013 whereby the new SPICE form helps the companies to get incorporated in one day. However, one-day company registration in India is not possible as there required certain documents, preparation of which takes time. Next 
Topic: Types of companies. Sole proprietorship, a sole proprietorship, also known as a trader firm or proprietorship, is a business form that is owned and run by one individual. A sole proprietor may use a trade name or business name other than his or her name. Registration not required. In summary, biggest advantage is quick formation and low compliances. However, the biggest disadvantage is unlimited liability. Partnership – Liability is joint and unlimited. Registration not compulsory. Active partners take part in day-to-day -day operations of the business, in addition to investing in it. Active partners are entitled to a share of the enterprise's profits. Sleeping partners invest in the business and are entitled to a share of its profits, but do not participate in day-to-day -day operations. Limited liability partnership – Liability is limited. HUF – Hindu undivided family – Businesses owned by a joint family belonging to Hindu religion. Even though Jain and Sikh families are not governed by the Hindu law, they can still form a HUF. Cooperative Dormant company – A company which has been created for a future project or for holding assets including intellectual property of the company. Family owned business, private limited, private limited company, approximately equals limited UK may have two to two hundred shareholders. Shares are held privately and cannot be offered to public. Small company, a company other than a public company whose paid up share capital is not more than fifty lakh rupees and turnover does not exceed rupee crore. Limited, public limited company, approximately equals PLC UK. Public Sector Undertaking PSU, alternatively known as Public Sector Enterprise PSE. It may be public limited company listed on stock exchanges with major ownership by a state government or a central government of India or it may be unlisted entity with major ownership by a state government or a central government of India. Some of these entities are formed as business entities through special legislation, where these entities are governed by the statutes of these legislation and may or may not be governed by company laws like a typical business entity. One person company, it is a type of private company which can have only one director and member. Unlimited company, a company, similar to its limited company limited, or private limited counterpart, but where the liability of the members or shareholders is not limited. Incorporated companavi INCORPORATON 1 Memorandum of Association Duly stamped signed by directors, in the case of public company should signed by seven members. In the case of private company signed by two persons sufficient. 2. Articles of Association It is the rules of internal management. PVT company can adopt Table A. This is model of Articles of Association. 3. Consent of Preposed Director The Consent of Preposed Director Act as Director and Purchase of Share. Corporate governance <laughs> <laughs> Company constitutions Governance of the board Under CA 2013 Section 169, the basic rule is that any company director may be removed by the general meeting with a simple majority vote, after giving special notice of 28 days. In companies which elect the board by proportional representation according to Section 163, there is an exception so that directors appointed by one particular group of members cannot be ousted by the majority. Those directors can only be removed by the members that appointed them, so as to protect the system of proportional voting. <laughs> <laughs> Employee rights 
It was the view of many in the Indian independence movement, including Mahatma Gandhi, that workers had as much of a right to participate in management of firms as shareholders or other property owners. Article 43A of the Constitution, inserted by the 42nd Amendment of the Constitution of India in 1976, created a right to co-determination by requiring the state to legislate to secure the participation of workers in the management of undertakings." However, like other rights in Part 4, this article is not directly enforceable but instead creates a duty upon state organs to implement its principles through legislation and potentially through court cases. In 1978 the SACA report recommended legislation for inclusion of workers on boards, however this had not yet been implemented. The Industrial Disputes Act 1947 Section 3 created a right of participation in joint work councils to "...provide measures for securing amity and good relations between the employer and workmen and, to that end to comment upon matters of their common interest or concern and endeavor to compose any material difference of opinion in respect of such matters." However, trade unions had not taken up these options on a large scale. In National Textile Workers Union v Ramakrishnan the Supreme Court, Bhagwati J. giving the leading judgment, held that employees had a right to be heard in a winding up petition of a company because their interests were directly affected and their standing was not excluded by the wording of the Companies Act 1956 Section 398. Excel Wev. Union of India AIR 1979 SC. 25, 36. Topic: Directors' duties. Directors owe a range of duties to the company, which primarily involve acting within the constitution, avoiding conflicts of interest, and performing their role to a desired standard of competence. The Companies Act 2013, Section 166, lists directors' duties in seven simple sections, which reflect the existing principles developed by the case law in the courts around most Commonwealth countries, in common law and equity. Part of the reason for codification of directors' duties was to provide a transparent statement of the duties directors owe, and therefore to publicize principles of best practice. However, because of their generality, the case of law of the courts matters to interpret how duties will apply in specific situations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Corporate social responsibility. In a new with the Companies Act 2013, Section 135 requires companies to spend 2% of their net profit on socially responsible projects, if they have a net worth of over Rs 500 crore, or a turnover of over Rs 1000 crore, or a net profit over Rs 5 crore. Socially responsible projects are defined in Schedule 8, and mainly involve community development. topic enforcement National Company Law Tribunal replacing the previous Company Law Board and Board for Industrial and Financial Reconstruction Indian Corporate Law Service topic see also UK Company Law European company law US corporate law equals equals notes <laughs>